today we're not making one, not two, but three different water bottle carrier designs. This has a strap. These have carabiners. All of them cost less than a dollar to make. Interested? Here we go. We're gonna walk through three builds. This is probably the simplest one. Works great. A little more complicated, but not by much. I'm just using a toggle. And then this one, which is simple. Materials you will need, carabiners for two of them, a toggle for one of them. And for this one, I use a half inch outer diameter, 3 8 inch piece of tubing. And that's to protect your shoulder. I'm gonna march right through and do all three of these. As far as cordage goes, you can use any kind of paracord that you want, color-wise. Tools, a lighter of some sorts, and a pair of scissors to cut the cord, and this kind of finishes off the cordage. Version one, all it is is a piece of paracord. It has a simple square knot. You could use a water knot. I'll show you how long it is. This one comes in at 16 inches. Here's the square knot. That's rock solid. You make a loop. Place it over the top of the bottle underneath the plastic clip because you want to be able to take the bottle off and on. You can just whip that around all day long and it's not going to go anywhere. If you made it out of the 100 paracord, it would be even tighter. But I've tested this, taking it out on the trail, and I'm really impressed at how good it works. The carabiners are cheap. You can get them on Amazon for about 50 cents a piece or any kind of store. Here you have a setup, 16 inches of cord, the carabiner, way less than a dollar, and you're ready to go. The other part of the design I wanted for all three of these is it's portable. You can clip it to your backpack and then when you get a water bottle, then you go. If you were to use a different bottle, say one that's a little bigger, this might be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll try it out and see. You probably have to go with about 18 inch or 20 inches and then once you tie it off, it'll hang on down a little bit more. A bottle like this, somebody could easily say, why even use the cord? You just got it right there. So eventually you're gonna pop that off. It's gonna break and fatigue right there. This is gonna last you a lifetime. This is 100 pair of cord because you have the toggle, you have to get it through there. I guess if you used a bigger toggle, you could use bigger pair of cord. Got 21 inches of cord, finishing off both ends. And I'm gonna make the second bottle holder, bottle clip. Start about two inches on either side. You hold the tail. Make a loop, feed it through, and then you want to tighten this up. That's about as much of a loop as you want. Just enough to get over the opening in the carabiner. Now you're going to take a toggle. If you haven't converted your running shoes to fast laces, check out my video below, and I think you'll reconsider slipping on and off even business shoes, depending on how eloquent you want to look. It saves you lots of time, and it only costs you $2 for the setup. And then once they wear out, You've got this little toggle to work with. Two loops. Let's find that carabiner. Slide on the first one. Slide on the second one. Pretty tight, but it'll stretch out. Slide it down. Now, I've made this one a little longer. I want this to be flat up against the bottle. Better with the bottle. Oh yeah, this is so much better. 21 inches. Of That's the magic. Pull it tight. Solid bottle holder. Let's try this bottle. Bit of a challenge. Ugh. If your bottle that you're trying to design this for isn't working. I'll show you a second method. We'll call this the no measure method. You just take your cord, run it around. You know you're gonna need about four inches. Go ahead and make your first knot. That's gonna go on the carabiner. Bring it around. How easy is it to take off? You can make your second knot. You can see this is missing a critical element, the toggle. What I'm gonna do is take this end knot off, slide the toggle on. Tie your end knot, keep your toggle flat so it ends up where it needs to be. Run the loop around the bottle, not once, but twice. Slide it down on below the cap, and bingo, you've got your fit. Tighten it all down, clip it off, a little flame to seal it. Slide it on the carabiner of your choice. Voila, bottle holder number two. Any size bottle. I have no idea how long that cord is. I don't have to, because I just cut it to fit. You want to make sure you give yourself plenty of room to take it on and off. This bottle lip will take a lot of load. This last design, the most complicated, but really it's not. This is a fisherman's knot here and a fisherman's knot here. What the fisherman's knot on the end allows you to do bottles from this thickness to the bottles this big. The great thing about using a fisherman's knot is that you can make it as short or as long as you desire. Same thing with here. These are a Posing knots. So a regular fisherman's, that's where the power of the knot is. So you take advantage of that in this design, putting it around the bottle. It slides over very easily. Tighten it down on both ends. Make sure it's even on the top and the bottom. And that 
my friends. It's not going anywhere. Take the top off. No problem. But all of these have nice big thick lips underneath in which you can put the core ditch in. You know, I went to the store and I was actually looking for something for a water bottle in a clip like this with a little rubber piece. Five, six dollars. Go online, it could even be ten dollars. So just to show you how small it can get, you can also use it on this. Cinch it down and you've got a strap ready to go. And you can shorten this up all the way down here. I happen to use this reflective cordage. For the third shoulder strap bottle holder, you need two 42 inch lengths of paracord. And this is anywhere from six to seven inches of this one half inch pipe. You could use something thicker if you wanted to, but I think this is, works out great, especially if you have a shirt on or a sweater. So you're gonna use a fisherman's knot. So you run it through, you get two laps around, then you feed the cord in the hole. You run the other cord through, then you finish this knot. So you're gonna repeat the same process on this side. Come around and through. I use this knot all the time climbing. So there you go. Very much a slip knot. Works great, strengthens right up. Now you're gonna do the top, run it through, run the other one through the other side, and then just do the fisherman's knots on both ends. Back through like this, and down in. And then on this side, around twice, back through. I really think I'm gonna do a video on knots. I use them all the time. Not everybody knows how to do knots. They're simple, they're strong. So you wanna have the same amount of tail on both sides so that you are even. That one's pretty good. You can move this back and center it. Those knots will keep this in place. If you want it shorter, you just pull on even to either side, even it out, and you can make it as short as long as you want. The only problem with that is this is gonna move around a little bit. When you take and do it right to here, that's gonna keep it in place. If this is going around your shoulder, it's coming in an angle say this is over your right shoulder and this would be on your left hip measure that distance I just measured it in a knot with that much tail takes about five inches a quarter and when you don't have a bottle it just rolls up like this goes into a pack I really like it for the bigger bottles again works on the smaller bottles too but the bigger bottles are really hard and bulky to hold on to and they flop around a good bit all of these designs are under a dollar if you happen to have the carabiner and you're only paying for, <laughs> look at all that water coming out. Note to self, tighten up the top. The most expensive thing is the carabiner, maybe the toggle if you don't have it. This one, no toggle, no, no carabiner, and now completely wet. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching and please subscribe below so that you get notifications about all my future builds on outdoor gear, sports gear, testing of gear, cosplays, just whatever comes to mind. I post weekly, if not twice a week, depending on how my schedule is going.